crying out loud. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> the show tonight is about swearing. Do Christians swear? Can they swear? Should they swear? I mean, there are some there are some very strong uh, condemnations about corrupt communications coming out of our mouth. But does that mean swearing? Is there swearing in the Bible? Can you swear when you hit your hand with the hammer? Does God get <laughs> mad at you for saying the farfignugan? <laughs> is bastard a swear word? Is ass? Is damn? Is hell? Well, All found in the Bible. Carry on. Uh, I think it, it's all about intentions, right? So if you were to say ass, it could mean donkey. Or if you were to say it in the cursing form, it would mean something totally different. Like you ass. Uh, uh, but yeah. You're, but uh, you're not saying you donkey. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. So I, I think it depends. Paul tells us in Ephesians not to use foul language. I think personally, if you swear a lot, it sounds kind of dumb. And yeah, that's so all you I have get. a limited vol uh, vocabulary. Yeah, so uh, that's as far as I put it. I don't put a major emphasis on it. I disagree. No, uh, I think um, yeah, like you said, it is uh, the intention behind it. But it's all yeah. about your heart and how and how you mean it. But the thing we need to remember is that uh, what swear words are always changing and evolving. But how do you mean it? What do you mean how you mean it? When you swear, don't no, you I'm mean saying it? if you're like you this or that, if you rather than saying. You bastard. No, no. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so, but that's kind of you the point. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, no, no, but, no, but it, it, people... Quiet ass. <laughs> well, 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 look, look, look. The, the, the word ahead. bitch means female dog. Though, okay, so, then. So, so there is meanings behind these words. So it's all about your intention and using them. So are you saying that if you called somebody a bitch and you meant it in the good way... No, you're calling them a female dog. There's no nice way to put that. A bitch is out the... Well, no way do you... If I that. see a little no, chihuahua could, that's, could, a, that's a girl that... I mean, you could say, hey, you bitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> That's fair. Okay. No, you can. Okay, but let's say you're uh, in a group of friends. You're like, "What's up, bitch?" You can, can you do, do that? that? Yeah, because there's a lot of different um, language for for different groups <coughs> of people, different cultures um, in, in America. So there, you know, younger people tend to swear a lot. I think we know that. Yeah, you're in high school. Yeah, you understand. Is, yeah. A lot of people swear. You know, I have certain friends groups that swear constantly and. If you don't swear, you sort of uh, stick it out like a sore thumb sort of thing, and you can't communicate in the same ways that they're used to. So it'd be permissible if, you, if you're not uh, meaning anything harmful with just it. With the... It's just like a different language kind of a thing. So that's why I'm saying it's about the heart, because if, you're, <coughs> if you have a bad intention with any words you say, whether it's swearing or not, I think that's the problem. But the swear words themselves, I don't think, are the issue. So you don't think if you're on a basketball team and everyone knows you're a Christian and you're all playing and you drop the F-bomb like everybody else, they're not saying, what kind of Christian is this? He's not really, I think he's a Christian. Do you think it's a better example for you to refrain from the F-bomb when you're playing basketball to show that, you know, you don't operate by the same way the world works? Um, well, I th actually, in your example, I think you'd cause them to think about Christianity more when you do swear, <laughs> because, because that's a way to put it. Well, because what 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 our, <laughs> our Christians are are is our uh, rule for being a Christian to never swear. Is that what makes us a Christian, or is it by how we love people and okay. how we love God? And I don't know that swearing is necessarily a... Uh... So context is important. Yeah. You're with your friends. It's okay. But if you're loving people and you're, with, you're in front of a family, you're going to withhold swearing because it offends the kids. And... Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. Well, context is everything in your... Yeah. Well, I, I would agree with that to a certain extent, but us as Christians requires us to separate ourselves from the world and to show an example as Christ. So I don't think... Christ would be up out there dropping the F-bomb and stuff. And I don't judge people who do. I mean, I've done it in the past. We all have. So uh, I, I would say there is a bit of issue with it, though. And it's not me judging anyone's faith in Christ. Obviously not. But I would say you would want to make a better effort to not say that again. Because I just say it misrepresents Christ since we are representing the church of Christ. I disagree. 
100 percent i don't think it i don't think it has any um because like i said words change all the time there's going to be the f word's not going to be the f word in however many years possibly because i think language the always going to be the f word you think <laughs> when did it start i when don't think the f word's going to suddenly become like a non f word word it could fool well, did or uh Raka? like fool but you know uh, uh, you, stay on topic well, that's the, 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 on top. No, no, no. I want to say on this particular example because uh, I'm going to debate you. On what this. the f word? No, no, no. On, on on us as Christians using mm. swear you words. Stay on that one. Oh, listen. okay. Um, because again, what what? Why are we Christians? What are we trying to do? If if you can show love to a certain community that likes to swear all the time, I don't see the issue with it. If you if you um, if you don't use the language that they use, um, yeah, you're sticking yourself, you know, you're making yourself different from them. But I don't, I don't know that you can uh, reach those people the same way. So I'm just, I'm not saying it, you have to swear if you're with people that swear. I'm just saying you can. I'm it's just saying liberty. The you have liberty. You're yeah. I, w I would think that, um, I would disagree with that because I think you setting yourself apart as an example shows, okay. Let's see what this guy is doing, you know? And, and mm -hmm. you can see it from that perspective. If I didn't swear, which I do, it's my struggle. I'm a young guy, and it's something I've got to work on. Um, but if I didn't, people would be like, well, how does he not do th this stuff? Or why, why does he know this and that? And this isn't a prideful fact. But whenever you look at the Bible and whenever Paul commands the, the church, it's like, hey, you need to do this, this, and this to separate yourself from the world. Right. But that was... This show as an example. It's to, I still think it applies today because we're still growing the kingdom of Christ. Uh, I still disagree because... Um, oh, shoot, I had a, a point in there somewhere. Think um, of your point because I want to say... This is mind-blowing because we have talked about drinking, drugs, heroin sex last two weeks ago we've talked about everything and it's okay it's you know it's between you and god and you're, you're known as a christian by your faith and now swearing you guys have dri uh, divided the line but there's something to that because it's what comes out of the mouth that reveals not the what heart. goes in yeah yeah Certainly. and not what goes in sure. we've been talking about everything that goes in we've been like you know it's probably not good mm -hmm. but if, but now when it comes to the, the expressions of the mouth mm -hmm. which reveal the contents of the heart there seems to be an issue yeah. And I think it's about more effective communication, personally. Be any language or culture, you're, if, you're, um, if you're trying to reach people and talk to people and connect with people, using the language is an effective way of doing that. And I've been in situations where I, for the longest time, never swore, s said anything bad. And for one, I was doing it for the wrong reasons, because I was trying to be Mr. Pious Christian. And for two, when I was with my friends that swore a lot, they, they were like, oh, you never swear, do you? And they kept making that a big deal, not about yeah. me being a Christian and showing love. And it was distracting, and I think it, it's not necessary. Mm. And, it, and especially to make it a rule for people bugs the heck out of me. So I, I disagree. I, I never said make it a rule. I'm just, I'm just saying from a biblical standpoint, and I'd agree with you once again to a certain extent. I talk in, in the language of other people in terms of how they would best understand it. So whenever I'm with LDS people, I don't just hog them on stuff. I try and put it down to a level they can understand so they can understand the concept that I'm trying to understand. I mean, that's how the whole Bible was written. It was written for certain groups of people to understand. Well, it's like how, you wouldn't swear you swear in front of an LDS but group of people that you're trying to reach, would yeah, you? You wouldn't. Yeah, it, and it's the same with people that do swear. You, you, know, you can communicate how they communicate. Yeah, but you don't necessarily have to fit in completely with the vernacular that someone uses. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying you can. Yeah, but I, I think to a certain extent that that would almost be unwise because, once again... It, the Bible is clear. Don't use foolish language like that. And so when I read that, I'm like, okay. Now, once again, I'm not good at it. I don't think any of us are good at it at this stage. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> um, but I still think it's a helpful thing to apply to and to differentiate ourselves. One of the many things. So between the two of you, there's a street gang. They are out on the street. 
you're saying you walk up and what's up motherfucker <laughs> right and you're saying no. you would go up and say hello sir <laughs> that's not what fellas? i said gotta, i don't have to talk you like gotta, that you gotta, i'm just saying would you, you i could go with some you without you uh, just split the difference uh, it's somewhere in the middle okay but you yeah. would to a mormon not swear sure okay well actually it depends so would you become all things to all people in order to reach them uh, possibly reach them for Christ? i wouldn't say that so if you're in prison for life you think that by withholding the language would go further among the other prisoners than to be yo whoa you know and fit right in with it i i i wouldn't necessarily say that but i think anyone who will reach the truth will hear it by God's grace. So whatever I do, and if they're going to accept it, I think God will guide them in that So process. you're stepping back. Then if that's the case, why even have this discussion about whether swearing is good or not? Well, because we're, we have to understand it from a Christian standpoint and what the Bible says. Okay. But everything else, we're ta the Bible, I mean, this is what's amazing to me is that in this conversation, we are stepping and saying the Bible says, and yet everything else we've said, but it's got to be in harmony with your belief and what you're about. Uh, well, okay. Let, let, get, give me an example of that because I, I think I understand what you're saying. So alcohol, like, the Bible talks about. I mean, people. there are people who will yeah. not touch alcohol. Okay, we said but, right now it's okay if you do. Yeah, because the Bible says don't be drunk. Do not, it does not say do not drink. So that's a specific, okay, the Bible says it's okay to drink, just don't let it consume okay, you. Okay, the Bible says don't use foolish language, but it doesn't say don't use the F-bomb. You see, Yeah, but you, foolish you language that is applicable to some different that's, cultures. That's, really, well, okay, what do you describe as foolish language then? Foolish language? You're saying something that doesn't I'm not sure the foolish sense. language, I, filthy communications, yes. Foolish language, I don't think you can apply well, to. Well, I, I, I think the specific verse says foul language. I think that's what I was applying to in Ephesians, but... Uh, I think in Proverbs it says something about foolish language. I only use foul that. language. Quack, quack. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I can say this. I, I don't feel very good about myself when I'm swearing. I just personally, I just think it, it does something to me personally. But, but I also get your point of, hey, you're with a bunch of gangsters. and there's, don't, make your, don't make it so that you're not about swearing. Make it so that you're about Christ. Right. But, and your point I, I get your point too. You know, you got to be careful what comes out of the mouth. So it's tougher than we thought. It's not yeah, just Yeah, definitely. A, uh, I don't think it's that hard though. <laughs> because it's like... It is. You know, Explain it's, it's it's not, how it's not that hard. Because your heart is what the language is communicating. Okay, okay? so the condition of the heart saying it. That's right. So if you're, if you're using it in um, a mean way, saying mean things about someone or just really being a jerk with this, these swear words, uh, you know, they're versatile, you can use them that way, um, then that's bad because your your heart is coming out in your words in a bad way. Now, if you're just communicating with the rest of the people and that's the best way to do it and you're saying nice things, you're just speaking their language, there's no issue Got with that. It. So, so it's not the, the words, it's, it's the, the heart. heart coming out. I always worried when I was a Mormon kid that I would be driving and a truck would come down toward me at high speed and the last words I'd say is, oh, and then I would go before God and he'd be like, what was the last thing you said? So I always feared. But if that came out of my mouth naturally, just out of fear, now I see that it wouldn't be. It would be more what you're talking about. Yeah. And plus, if you said, oh, farts, it wouldn't make a difference on what your heart was meaning. It's the same thing. It's right. just a different word for the same thing. So then let me ask you this. What about the substitute words that people use to justify, no. oh, you shizzle, you shizzle fluck. It, it, it's the same intention as using the actual word. Is it? Yes. Yeah. That's why I say just say the real word. Really? So uh, depending do you, th on, do you say, the, say the real word then? If, you, if you're going to say, oh crap, it's... it's, a, it's oh crap, oh shit, there's no difference. Yeah, there, there's no Sometimes difference. Sometimes I like the substitute words better. Like I say oh farts all the time or whatever. <laughs> so I hate that. I'd rather hear the F word. I, he used I, to but say, I say them uh, both, so it, it just depends on the situation. He used to say... Wait, uh, and that's of, kind of the point. Instead of saying uh, shit, you used to say... Oh, shiitake mushrooms yeah, on, But that's because we were on the air. Yeah, I know, but I, I, it's the same intention. So the same intention. It is. So then... Same intention, but different language for different people. If we're talking to Mormons, they like their substitute words, so... Yeah. Sure. But if you yeah. want to teach them a lesson and say the, <laughs> the real words and say, see, we're talking... If you're doing it that way, then whatever, but... So uh, what's just, the just worst, uh, just to wrap this up, what's the worst profession uh, that can come out of our mouths, according to you, as believers? 
using the Lord's name in vain. And what does that mean? Uh, I think di disrespecting, not, not just saying, oh my God, because God's name is Yahweh, Elohim, etc. I think it is misrepresenting God on purpose. Speaking on his behalf. Yes. God wants you to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. that too. Yeah. So uh, I hear a lot of Christians say, God, I wish that wouldn't have happened. Oh, I swear. Oh, God, that was ridiculous. Do you think that would be G-O-D? Because G-O-D, Elohim, is not his name. It's, not, it's just a title. Yeah. Ozzy Osbourne, the God of rock and roll, or a God of metal, whatever. Yeah. So God is not it. Do you, are you of the opinion that God is? I, I think I say, oh, my Lord, all the time. You do? Uh, just randomly, or I say, thank God. Yeah, you, you know, and it, and it's just how how I communicate things. I don't think that's it. Because why would God care about that? He cares about how you represent him. Right. He cares about how you teach his children. If you falsely misrepresent him, I think that's much worse. And I think that's truly taking the Lord's name in vain. It's just a language tool of uh, conveying an idea, but you're not actually thinking about... Um, Oh my God! You're not think you're not thinking of it in that way. It's just sort of an expression. So I don't know that. Again, it's the heart that really. Do either of you recoil at all when watching movies where they'll say Jesus Christ? They just, I mean, the gangster movies. Oh Jesus Christ! It drives me nuts. I hate it. Mm. I can watch anything in in the language, but when they do that, it just. And to me, it's just like, if my mom Lucille lived her life caring for me, taking care of me, did everything for me. And then people would say, oh, Lucille McCraney, every time they got mad, after a while, I would start getting pissed. Yeah. And there, that's the way I resonate to using God's name, Jesus Christ, or even God damn it and all that stuff. It, it kind of gets to me. and Maybe it's just me. You seem to be a little bit beyond that, and you seem to agree. Uh, I, I don't say it myself uh, in most cases. I, of course, I'm... Um, I'm a man, so I make mistakes, but I don't say it myself uh, because I, res I try my best to respect the name of the Lord. Um, but yeah, I don't care when people use it. It's their choice, huh. and they got to be go before God hmm. with that. It's not my problem. It's, it's theirs, and I don't judge them for it. Okay. I sort of got past the whole language thing after a while Did you? <laughs> because like, I just made it a rule to myself to communicate from the heart and what what goes best in the situation and have honest um, communication so like I'm not really worried about the specific words I'm using if I know why I'm saying it I guess Got it. so uh, yeah I don't know I haven't uh, I don't pay as much attention to it anymore and some swear words do seem to fill a gap that nothing else can fill. When you hit your thumb with a hammer full swing, it's hard to beat that F word. Yeah, <laughs> it is. One thing I want to add on to that is I, I get using words to describe your intentions. My only concern is how other people will see what you're trying to convey and misrepresent what you're trying to convey. Well, and that's, why, that's why I mentioned the yeah. different uh, groups of groups. people that you're talking to. So you want to be appropriate for the situation. Context. Yep. Interesting. This was more of a debated one between all of us. I think that's yep. really interesting because when we discussed evolution, uh, <laughs> we had people who are the never going to watch us again. <laughs> Thank I know. you. I couldn't believe it. Because of you two, yeah, by the way. I yeah, I know. I used to like Sean. He, he used to talk about good things. Now with these two guys. <laughs> Thank you both. Of all the things. Is it your turn? Yep. Don't look at the yellow. Don't look at what you're grabbing. We were just saying the possibility is there. So Is this for next week? Down. How long yeah. have we gone? This is a fantastic one. From my boy Bradley. Shout out to Bradley. Why can you no longer receive modern day revelation? Ooh. So next week, why can you no longer recee revelation? Out. Out. <laughs>